Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make your own unblocked games website, but before we begin make sure to like and subscribe to help this channel grow. Warning, this video is for educational purposes only. Proceed at your own risk. Here is my website that I've made myself using Google Sites, if you want to use it the link is in the description. Let's take a quick look at my website before we begin, it has lots of online games, here is just a few of them. It even has old flash games, as well as movies, TV shows, and a built-in website unblocked. Here you can see I can search anything on here and it will be unblocked. Here are the flash games, if you request games I will add them for you. Now these are the online games, I frequently update these games too. So to get started, open a new tab and go to sites.new, this will make a new Google site for you. There are two boxes at the top left that currently say untitled site. The highest one doesn't get shown to people who see your website and the one below that is what the website will be shown as on the tab. Make sure to give your website a name now, but don't worry too much about it as you can change it later. Next, choose what type of header you would like. If you don't have a picture that you want to use then I suggest a title only header. This makes it only show the writing at the top. Experiment around with these different headers. If you would like to use the same background as me. The link will be in the description. Right click on the picture after you open the link and save it somewhere on your computer. If you want the same font as me, click on the writing and then click on where it says Lotto Light. Either choose another font here or click on more fonts and then search for press start 2p make sure that it's selected and then press ok. Now when you click on the writing and then Lotto Light you should be able to scroll down and see the font press start 2p. Now to add the games, go to this GitHub link in the description and click on the code button, and then press download zip. This may take a while depending on your internet speed. Save it somewhere on your computer. One hour later. Then open up the place that you saved it, right click on it and press extract. This may take some time also. 12 seconds later. Open the folder and open the folder inside and here is all the games. Click the link in the description for Replit. You will have to create an account if you haven't already. Click on Fork Repel. And call it something. Go back to the folder with the games in it and highlight a few of them. Don't do all of them at once. This website only allows you to upload up to 1 GB of games at a time. Drag a small amount of games at a time into the sidebar of the website that says index.html. It may take a little bit of time for the games to upload. Repeat this for whatever games you would like until it gets full. If it gets full go back to the description and repeat the steps. Now choose a game that you would like to add to your website. Look for the folder name remember this for later. Now on the right hand side, there should be a box with the URL bar at the top. 
copy and paste this writing into a new tab and then put the exact name of the folder after it. Copy the link of this game and then go back to your website. In the right hand side there should be lots of options to add to your website. Go to the Pages tab. Click on the plus at the bottom. Then click on Full Page Embedded. Call this the name of the game. Then click the plus button again. And then click on New Page. Name this Games. Drag the page for the game into the Games page this will make it a child of the Games page. On the Games page click on the Insert tab. Under the Content Blocks section click on the one with the four pictures. If you want to have six games in one row like my website, add the content block again and then click on one of the squares and drag it into the first row. And do this again. Now go back to the Pages tab and click on the page for the game that you want to add. Click on Add Embedded. And then paste the link for the game there. Then press Next. Now go back to the Pages tab and then click on the Games page. Click on the plus button on one of the boxes and upload an image for that game. Here is where you have two options of how it will look, one where you just click on the picture to open the game. Or the other option is to have a button underneath. It'll show you how to make both options. For the first one where you just click on the picture to open it. The first thing you need to do is to click on the picture and then click on it again. Don't do this too fast or it will make you crop the picture. Click on the insert link button. In this box type in the name of the game and select it below. Make sure to click apply. For the second option. Where you have to press a button below. On the right side of the screen click on the button option. Type play in the first box and in the second one. Type in the name of the game and then click on it. Then press insert and drag it under the picture. To test out your website, in the top corner click on the preview button. Now press the X button to go back into edit mode. Repeat the previous steps for as many games as you would like. 1 minute 37 seconds later. Here you can see, I've added lots more games. To add the website unblocker to your website, add a new page and select full page embedded. Then click add embedded and paste the link from the description into the box then click insert. Now for your friends to be able to see your new website you need to publish it. In the top corner click on publish and then type in what you want the link to be. You can only change what is on the end of the link, because it's free. And then click publish. Share this link with all of your friends. It might have an error at first but that's normal. If you make changes to your website like adding a new game, remember to publish again. That's all for today. Remember to like and subscribe. If you need any help ask in the comments. I might be making a follow up video soon on how to get your website searchable on Google so make sure to be subscribed to you can see it. I will be making a video soon on how to hide the tab even more and even change the logo.